in this video i'll be showing you guys how to make a nice simple but not basic burger ad same as the t the video that you just saw in the beginning in the beginning in the beginning of the video you will first use photoshop for editing the stock footage what am i saying That's the, this is stock image okay we'll use photoshop to remove any unwanted objects such as those hideous hands and the uh, i mean i'm just joking about the hands we'll remove any unwanted stuff that won't be necessary when animating the burger And after editing everything, we will make sure that we export each ingredient separately so that when you import into After Effects, the animation process is going to be easier when you work with individual ing ingredients. Hmm? Am I making sense?
and after placing the ingredients into after effects we can still do some adjusting but it's kind of unnecessary though because i already we already did that in photoshop so maybe i just wanted to try something out maybe make the contrast a bit more intense just for the look of a dramatic burger ad we can start planning out like what happens at a specific keyframe For a smoother animation, make sure that your keyframes are always set to ease in and out. Make sure guys. My favorite part is adding the shadow. When you give your animation, your burger animation, some shadow, it is a way of showing, it is a way of, um, giving the idea that it other than a flat image it's gonna look like it has more depth in my opinion Next, we add those. Uh, I don't know what they call these. Uh, let's just call them particles, right? So they are there. They give your burger an extra appeal. So, like as your ingredients, like you know, they do the thing, and then the the, 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 the um. Man, what do you call these things? Those things there, those particles there, they are just, they're gonna give the whole composition a cinematic look in my um, perspective. So it is also optional to add those, but they actually not hard to um, work with because we'll only be animating very minimal uh, movements. In this tutorial is too vast for you guys and you're not learning anything from this, just let me know in the comments and I can uh, post a step-by-step -step longer version for anyone who thinks this video is a bit too uh, unspecific. If I keep blowing onto the microphone, I'm, I'm trying guys, sorry. Okay, next we will be using the puppet pin tool and when you choose to use the puppet pin that is like a game changer because not only are you animating the ingredients but now the bit of a realistic not a robotic movement like it's more of something you would record from an actual burger ad that some, someone might have filmed.
and don't forget that in the animation principle using ox while animating gives your animation flow a bit of a non-robotic feel so once again if you don't know the animation principles please do some research and if you're enjoying this video please don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you found it helpful So I'll just continue animating the ingredients just as I have been. And that is it for today's video. Thank you.